Claude Garrett has sat in jail for 29 years for killing his girlfriend by arson. However, many of the top fire investigators in the world have weighed in on this case. Their conclusion? Not arson. On a mild February night in 1992, Claude Garrett and his girlfriend Lori Lance came back from a bar at 2.30 a.m. Garrett says they crashed on the couch, both were smokers, and then moved to the bedroom. A couple hours later, the house was on fire. Garrett escaped out the front door. Lance died of smoke inhalation in the laundry room. The ATF investigator determined the fire was arson that someone poured kerosene in the living room. The district attorney pointed to the laundry room door saying it was locked, that Lori Lance was locked in the laundry room and that Claude Garrett did it on purpose, killing his girlfriend. A Nashville jury found Garrett guilty of first degree murder, but the district attorney withheld a key fact the lock was not latched, that the latch was open. In fact, one report exists in the, in the case file by a fire officer who said that door wasn't locked. That changed the basic argument for the murder by arson theory. That's where fire private investigator Stuart Bain enters the case and starts investigating the original investigation. Bain first determined that Lori Lance and Claude Garrett were in bed together when fire threatened. How would he know that? By their injuries. The two human bodies were burned on the very same appendages, the very same body parts, to the very same intensity. That just wouldn't happen if one person started a fire to kill another person, they would be in different places when it happened. Nevertheless, Garrett was found guilty a second time in a retrial 11 years later. His own lawyer says he blew the case by not even calling a doctor to explain the identical injuries. So Garrett remains in prison for first degree murder, but now the basic arson charge is questioned. How many mistakes were there in the original investigation? I think they're still being found. There are so many, uh, so many flagrant misapplications of the scientific method. That poor pattern on the living room floor? Not a poor pattern, says Bain. Firefighters cleared the house, cleaned the house. No one reconstructed the fire scene, something not understood in 1992, but now would be dismissed as junk science. Even the idea Garrett used kerosene to start the fire no longer holds merit. 50 degree weather, no heating in the house, Ambient temps outside in the Nashville area that morning at 5 a.m. February 24, 1992, it's 50 degrees. Kerosene is ignitable at 100. Bain says you can drop a lit cigarette into a kerosene vat and the kerosene will extinguish the cigarette. The arson claim is so shaky, fire investigators all over the world took up the case. World-renowned expert John Lentini, who wrote the book on fire investigation, investigated the case at his own expense and ripped the arson claim to shreds. And then the world's top fire investigation body in the world, the Tetahedron, formed a five investigator panel and spent a year on the case. They were direct, quote, there is no basis for the finding that the fire was arson. The Innocence Project, which has freed 21 death row inmates, has taken the case. And now, maybe most importantly, Davidson County's own conviction review unit is deep into its own internal investigation. And remember, it only looks at cases with huge doubt about the conviction. Meanwhile, Claude Garrett waits. An angry man when convicted at 35, he is now a prison leader at 64. A man who won the friendship of fire investigator Bain, who speaks with Garrett weekly. Mr. Garrett has grown into an honorable man. When you meet him, you'll see that same ethical quality in a guy who has gone through a 30-year rough patch. I spoke with Assistant District Attorney Sonny Eaton, who is heading up the Garrett investigation. She said, Quote, substantial time and resources are being devoted to this CRU investigation, but out of respect for the victim's family and fairness to Mr. Garrett, it would be inappropriate to comment further prior to its conclusion. We will be there when that does happen. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.